He say he, he is going to happen, you know? He ain't never lied. You know? Right, he ain't never <laughs> lied. Verse 20, and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob. Israel. <laughs> shall no more again stay upon him that smoked them, but shall stay upon the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty power. I was about to do that too, yeah, boy. Remnant. Hey, this is that remnant returning right here. And like we was going to the 144,000, that's, that's a very small number uh, compared to the Earth's population. Sure. You know, so and that's the elect of first fruits. The yeah, truth ain't for everybody. That's why we don't get bad when people don't listen. So that the multitude die. That's yeah. just. That's what you're talking about. That's just normal. So let the multitude let the multitude perish. Then, which are born in vain. What's that? I know you. you used to go to the same school. Second Peter, uh, turn to school. Two and five. Wait, sorry. And spare not the old world, but save Noah and the eight persons of the preacher of righteousness, bringing the flood upon the word of the ungodly. So Noah was out there preaching. He's a preacher of righteousness. <laughs> he was telling them he's gonna die. He's like, look, y'all gonna die, and they ain't wanna listen. So guess what? They drowned and died. And then they, they were scratching and trying to claw their way into the ark. Most high was like, nah. Fingernails getting ripped off. Yeah, fingernails. You know, they was killing each other to get to it. Most high. The land when the old girl was down in the hole and uh, she shared the light. No, uh, uh, what's his name? Jamie Gong. Buffalo Bill lowered the light. Oh, uh, yeah. Remember when you yeah. cranked it back up and she looked and she saw the fingernails in the wall. Somebody previously was trying to claw out, man. Oh, damn. She started screaming and shit, man. This is a definition of remnant, which is pretty basic. It says the rest or remainder. <laughs> the remainder of what? <laughs> yeah. And from what? Why is there a remainder? Remnant. R-E-M. Rem. What happened for there to be a remainder or a rest of whatever left? Man, what happened? Destruction. The Lord brought destruction. The terror of the Lord. Here it is. That's what they always. Uh, that's what keep thinking about the woman. They always be trying to say this. Uh, that it's, what she say is supposed to be uh, trying to rule people and stuff. Like you gotta, you gotta have rules to rule anything. Because if not, it's gonna be a bunch of chaos. The scripture says, well, "Give devil honors to the apostles that rule well." Or something like that. Ooh, yeah, somebody ooh. rule. Then the kingdom, it said, we're going to rule them with a rod of iron. So you thought us talking like this was bad. We're going to rule them with a rod of iron. So cracking hands. Yeah, the woman don't like to hear that, though. <laughs> she ain't trying to hear that. You want slaves? Crack. You want to rule the world? You want slaves? Yeah, yeah. Concubines? Yeah. Money? Riches? Concubines? Ain't they? Ain't they? <laughs> That's what we're going to get. Hey, what's wake the up? Said, hey, wake up. You gotta wake up out of sleep, man. You gotta wake up out of sleep, man. What's that, Aaron? Yeah, what we said, we sound crazy. Here you go. Revelation 22 and 12. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Yeah, now, so. We're out here being the thief that we've been talking about, and that extortioner, that wicked ass nigga, man. You're gonna get your reward, the reward of a wicked man. But the righteous, we out here doing the work of the Lord, so we're gonna get that. The reward of spiritual spiritual powers. I get that one you know, in being a able uh, to fly, being able to lift up buildings. Go one in Matthew nineteen. You know, have an unlimited amount of women. That's that reward for that going back to the elect amount again. Of women. These days, man, these women come up, man. You got one other woman that's just gonna cut your ass out or throw you out. You know, nigga, you got to go, <laughs> nigga. You got to go, nigga. You know what I mean? But in the Lord in the Lord's world, you know, in His world. We can have many women, and that's what we're going to have. We're going to have many wives. And that's part of that reward that we're going to get from the Lord. Put that up. Matthew, Matthew uh, 19 and 28. It says, Yahweh Shai, right it says, Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in a regeneration, regeneration, which is reincarnation. The reincarnation is in the Bible. A lot of people don't know that, but there's proof right here. He's saying the regeneration meaning, not right now, but when, in the future when y'all come back, uh, go ahead. When the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, you also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Future prophecy. Yep. So that's part of that reward. Part of that reward is in the kingdom. 
This right now, this is Satan's kingdom. The Lord gonna destroy all this. All these buildings, everything. America's gonna be destroyed. This is the problem. But then on, on the other side, after the destruction, we gonna rule. Yeah, yeah. It says, and everyone that have forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, which his name is Yahweh Shai, it's not Jesus. It's not my Jesus. Son, shall I receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. So if you forsake your life now, you have like a wife, because you know, if you have a wife, the Lord gonna test you. She might leave your ass. But you're supposed to forsake her if you have children. You're supposed to not just do it, not, not to do it uh, for no reason, but for a viable reason. If you have a house and you gotta choose either the truth for your house or your job or the truth, you gotta, you gotta choose the truth. And if you do that, the Lord gonna give you a hundredfold. The Lord gonna give you thousands of women. The Lord gonna give you thousands of men. Hey, but actually, more important than that, though, you're gonna get the knowledge. Like, and the knowledge and the wisdom, which is. That's the real riches is knowledge and wisdom. Nothing. Nothing. Fuck. That that that's the bet. That's the the word for wisdom in the Bible, in the Greek is Sophia, and when you look at that's a woman. What do we call Our real woman is this, the the wisdom and knowledge. Sophia. These women they just piece. Of, the women they just flesh. Ooh. That's just something you beat up. Booty. You know what I mean? Booty. That's booty. It's a box. I'll say a ten. In 25, for yet a little, very little while, and the indignation shall cease, and my anger in their destruction. And the Lord of hosts shall stir up a scourge for him, according to the slaughter of Midian and the rock of Era. And as the rod was upon the sea, so shall he lift up after the manner of Egypt. It shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder, and his yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. And that's what's happening right now. As soon as that, that yoke, because we still got that yoke on us right now. We still paying taxes. If you're paying taxes, that means you're a slave. That means you're paying tribute to your oppressor, to your bodies. conqueror. Yeah, yeah. we still in these raggedy ass bodies. In the kingdom, the Lord going to give us new bodies. He's going to give us power. We got to take faith to believe that, though. I just want to get this out. It's really easy. Jeremiah 5 and 23. But this people has a revolting and a rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. Do their own thing. <laughs> they want to do their own thing. <laughs> they just walking. They just don't. Yeah, because they gone, bro. That's it. Ain't nothing you can do about it. It's out of our hands. It's the Most High did it, not us. <laughs> you can't blame us. So mo say, quote, yeah. <laughs> most people are gone, so. <laughs> and the Most High said they was gone. He said they gone. Well, we start, we got to start saying, quote, make sure they don't oh, know. Like, they make it seem like we wrote this. We got to quote. Hey, we gotta say, man, quote. ain't nothing you can tell them, man. <laughs> Weird as hell. I'm trying to talk to him like, I'm asking him. He's just sitting there. Like, He's asleep. That's like, what I'm saying. Wake up. He bugged out. Wake up. He was, he was, he was starstruck. <laughs> yeah. What a mercy. Look at the zombie movies, man. Look at the looks on the zombies' faces. The same shit. They be just looking, especially when the zombie get to a class. They, just... they pretty much, I mean, the average Americans pretty much uh, been lobotomized. How you yep. say that? Yep. Lobotomized. Yep. They done had a lobotomy. Part of their brain was punctured. See? Wow. Exactly. So they, got all, they got all the circuits scrambled up by just puncturing the brain a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, Esau, motherfucker, yeah. man. Esau, this is shit. Habakkuk 2 and 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. And I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am approved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon table that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. He said he would run to read it. Everybody come up and they hear it, they run. He tell them the truth, they run. They pew. Hey, out of there. Yeah, you see that little cloud of Road dust like a cartoon. Road I got it. I got it. I got it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait, wait for, for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Say you got people, you know, they teach the word, whatever, and they, they lose faith. They, they think the missiles ain't never coming. Like I heard that dude, that dude Yakanan, he always be talking trash. You know the the Avengers radio, they always talking about. But well, y'all said the missiles been gonna come. There ain't no missiles yeah, yet. Yeah. You know they just always oh, look. Yeah. Look the motherfucking missiles is on their way. That shit is 
Hey, Trump said, there's, he said there's no other way. He said there's no That's other he way. He, they, he ain't explained it, but... They act, a, they act. A, look, Esau don't want to shoot the missiles. They, they, they trying to look. They don't. The missiles are gonna get shot. Trust Esau, me. Esau itching to shoot the missiles. Well, he do want to shoot them. He, he, he trying to get himself together. Cause he if you had that power, power, wouldn't you? Shit, yeah. Right. Man, they know they could destroy right. a whole. I'm a Superman. I was all they shit get up. They don't want. They don't want to oh. lose their kingdom. Cause they, they you know, the top. They had elites know about the prophecies. Yeah. That nigga. They know when that destruction comes. It's, it's over for them. They're going into slavery. Plus, we out here telling them they know. <laughs> they know. As soon as that missile go up, they're going straight into slavery. So, Most of the weeks ain't even going to get hit by missiles. Yeah. They're going to get beamed to the kingdom straight to the, sla the, uh, the plantation. So. Yeah, some missiles is coming. <laughs> they know. They know as soon as they hit this, it's over for them. They know <laughs> it's over. Yeah. The kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of God is at hand. Damn, what the fuck is that? Prepare yourself. Hey. It's going to be a, trans a transition. From one power to another, you know what I'm saying? From a wicked power to a righteous power. But before all that happens, there's gonna be a lot of death and destruction. Oh. So that's why that's why the John the Baptist said what? Prepare way for the Lord. That's what we're doing for you. You know, prepare to prepare to lay the way for the Lord. He's coming with death and destruction, so you gotta hide yourself in. Oh, let me hold on. Most high. I'm sorry, I didn't want to change the subject. But you know, oh, you good, you good, you good. Spirit, man. So, there's only man. one subject, and that's brother, the truth. Man. That's how the spirit works, man. You're talking to a brother, man. It's in line upon line, upon line, precept upon precept. Yeah. Here, little. Everything in the truth little interconnects little with each other. Don't want to hear no more. I feel you. All right, man. Shut up. I want to run like every 10 minutes. I be putting a burden on people by asking questions. You know, man, you got to be like that. Because most people, they don't want to be bothered. I got to go. Yeah. I got to get some money, man. The average person is real shy, you know. They don't They don't want to disrupt nothing and bother nobody. Passing out sandwiches and stuff. They be more than welcome to want to join. It's crazy, look. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if we if we was passing out sandwiches, we we may we be great men of the community. They give us an award or something. Uh oh, straight chin. That's that demon. That's Beelzebub. The asshole in their mouth. That's Beelzebub. That's that Queen of Heaven spirit. That's that I that share, I share a spirit. Hey, <laughs> hey, get that. Uh, what was y'all about to read? Prince and Bruwa Beck. Prince and Bruwa Beck. You got that Prince and Bruwa Beck. Is that what she said? Like Speaking of tone. Some spirits, boy. Put the asshole in my mouth. What's wrong with get Aaron? I don't even know. I'm confused. I'm just stuck. Just get the demons. We got cursed the demons out. Destroy them. We get the cursed. Get the demon scripture. Oh, that's that's your Muslim boy. Let's see if he can say something. I'm from I'm from Muslim town. I don't know that. What you talking about, man? From Muslim town? Yo, fat. said like that. Oh, Lord of mercy. I'm scarred. Oh, oh shit. Also, you got some over here to laugh about. If you watch it, maybe two thirds will suck. If you watch this, that could be a snap. I don't know what to say to that. Go ahead, give me something. Let me see this shit. That's a living monster. Jeremiah 13 and 4. And I will dash the one against another, even the fathers and the sons together, says the Lord. I will not pity nor spare. Nor have mercy, but destroy them. Have ye and give ear, be not proud, for the Lord has spoken it. Give glory to the Lord your God, which his name is Yahweh Shah, before he caused darkness and before your feet stumble upon the dark mountains. Before, he said before he caused darkness, right? And he said the same thing as Yahweh Shah. He, tur he turned the family against each other. That's why you see all these families out here, they all broken up. You know, there ain't no such thing as a, a, a what's that called a, a mother and a father that's non-existent you know what i mean they know ain't no children even got a mother and a father they just got a mother that talks like that jeremiah 13 and 16. give glory to the lord your god 
before he causes darkness and before your feet stumble upon the dark mountains. And while you look for the light, he turn it into the shadow of death. That's, that's, that's concentration camps, detainment centers, you know, the, the, the troops, the, the beast that's going to be roaming the streets. You know? That was a good one. Where's that, Jeremiah? What? And it said, "Give glory to the Most High," or are you gonna get put in that darkness? Not Jesus, not Muhammad, not Buddha, because the scripture says, "I." We say, "I'm in how I give not my glory to another." I sound like I can't remember exactly how. Yeah. So you can't just believe whatever you want. I'm talking about you got your own path. I mean, there's two paths: a path of life, and the other path is death. There's two doors, you know what I mean? The Why right you, door and the wrong door. My fault, go ahead. You good? While you look for light, he turned it into the shadow of death and make it, it ghost darkness. Yeah, like, looking for light. Uh, was the parable of the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the ten, ten versions, versions, yeah. That bit went in, went in, went in. Get it, just read it. Yeah, okay. Get it out. Matthew 25 and 1. Then shall the kingdom of, of heaven be likened unto ten virgins which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. It says, And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, y'all shy. Because, you know, some people say you take too long or whatever. But, yeah, uh, they always complain. Did they lose? They ain't got patience. Yeah. The, the scriptures clearly say be patient. Another thing the disciples thought the end time was going to be when the Howard Shaw was there too. It says, they all slumbered, which when we went to slavery and you forgot who we was, and slept. Okay? It says, at midnight, there was a cry made. Behold, the bridegroom cometh with we're doing right now. Go ye out to meet him. Then all the, those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. So when it when it when it shits the fan, it's talking about the uh, God. It's like precept in Amos eight, how when they when they, when the truth when it, uh, when it shits the fan, they gonna come they gonna come look for us. Like hey, give us some of your oil, give us yep. some of the truth. Oh shit! Oh uh, damn! The, uh, the market of the beast is the market of chip. Uh, market chip. Everything's happening. It's like a, in the modern day uh, equivalent of that parable. It's like we out in the dark. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got their Android phones. And you don't want with a charger. Everybody else want to use your charger. But you knew we was coming out here. You ain't bring no charger. You knew your shit was gonna die. You didn't bring a charger. Let me use your phone. No, your phone was on five percent. I'm using it for myself. Cause you know and that's another thing too with a uh, phone charger. You let someone borrow a charger, they don't want to give it back. They don't. Every time you use my like, yeah. charger, they break that shit. Bro. They break it. Yeah. That shit be the start of So that's right. You supposed to have your own charger every time. God damn, bitch. It says. It says, the order, okay, um, no, it's, uh, not. but the wise answer saying, not so, these there be not enough for us and you, but go ye rather to them that sell and buy to for yourselves. And it went, and well, they went to buy, the bridegroom came, y'all shy, second coming, and they that were ready went with him to the marriage into those chariots. It says, and the door was shut. Yeah, because the word marriage means uh, join together. So that's why we married, to, you know, to the Lord, because we join with the Lord. That's why we call the elect. Yeah, yeah. Takes version. Because some of y'all are married to the devil. Yeah. Yeah. They've been joined together with the Satan. It says, and the door was shut. Uh, afterward. And the door was shut. Hey. Just like uh, like when Noah shut that door, when the Most High shut the door on Noah's Ark, hey, we gonna see the same thing happen again. People gonna, you when the Lord come back, start delivering people, he gonna let the two thirds, he gonna let the the wicked people see the righteous get delivered. They gonna see it, you know what I mean? Probably try to jump on you, shit. Right, they, right, they gonna try to stop you. <laughs> get off me! But you just know they gonna see it. They gonna feel salty. There you go. Hold up. You're gonna be like your boy in the knowing. We're on the knowing. He was he was hugging the pastor, and they all died. Oh, it says. It says afterward it came also the other verses saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. He answered and said, Brandly I say unto you, I know you not. Watch ye, so I can watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour when the Son of Man cometh. 
Yeah, so we don't know when the Lord coming back. Like, you just had these assholes about what a month ago. They said the Lord's coming back. Yeah, September 23rd. Now you can't never listen to nobody like that, obviously. Hey, but but the, the Lord's definitely gonna make an appearance. Y'all better get it out your mind that He's not coming back and He's not real. Y'all gonna find out the hard way. Listen to Solomon yeah. five and one. Oh, so like you just think you like you gonna see people actually? Excuse my language. They actually gonna be shit shitting themselves when the Lord come back. You gonna see doo doo stains? <laughs> I mean, that's how terrifying it's going to be when the Lord returns. Y'all well, thought it wasn't real. Right, because you go to the, uh, the plagues and the, that he's going to hit Egypt, America with. Some of those plagues, like the disease that they got hit with in Yemen, the parts of Syria, it's called Cloria or some shit like that. Yeah. Right? And that, that disease causes Cholera. you to shit on yourself. Yeah. You're constantly having diarrhea, man. And when you go in, they're coming right back out and they cause severe dehydration and that's a bad disease, man. And they literally going to be shitting on themselves, man. Because they full of shit, right? Oh, yeah, they full they of full it, of so shit. it's going to empty right. out. We ain't making that up. We ain't playing no name calling games. We, we, we nah, man, we're I, giving a real message, man. Man, they're going to be terrified. With the Lord... Like the scriptures say, the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. It. Right. Plus, like I said, they thought the Lord wasn't real. Right. They thought the Bible was a joke. So, and they going to know who it is when he comes out. I'm like, oh, shit. They're going to know. <laughs> they be like, oh... They're going up. We didn't fuck up. You know what I mean? That's the beauty of it. They I thought it wasn't so. real. I told you so. They're going to see the, the chariots, what they call uh, UFOs. That's what's coming. That's how they're coming out the clouds with the chariots. That's right. And you're go, you going to shit yourselves. That's right. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous stand, and righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as afflicted him and made no account of his labor. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Ooh, that's a terrible again. fear. When they see it, Ooh. they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Ooh. So far beyond all that they look for. So ain't nobody looking for the Lord coming, no UFO, no giant massive mountain coming out the sky, man. They ain't ready nobody. for that. They are not ready for that one. Right. Nobody. Their intestines is going to drop. <laughs> Man, you can see the shit out of their whole intestines. Right. It's just going to drop. Right. Uh, what was that one script? The heart shall fill them? The heart shall fill Yeah, yeah. You people think most like playing, man. South Park did a skit on these people. When the, the, the motherfuckers, devils, they uh, use sound to control the people and they made people shit on themselves. Oh, yeah. I can't remember what they were doing. I think they were trying to... Uh, a, they were in a band, they were trying to compete in a band against other people. That's a real weapon like, though. Right, and they used sound and they made the people in the crowd shit on themselves. They, could, they got something called the brown tone. Ooh. If you hit a certain note, they call it the brown tone. You hit that certain frequency, yeah. it, it, everything's coming out. <laughs> That's an instant uh, laxative right, right there. You see the towers going up everywhere, man. You know, what the hell is those towers for on top of those buildings? What are they for, man? You know what I'm saying? Those antennas, just some giant antennas, man. That shit can all turn into weapons. Man. All that's gonna turn into weapons. When you look at heart, the heart. When you look at heart, heart is a giant. Bunch of antennas. Bunch of right. It's on thousands of acres of land. All them antennas, hundreds of acres of land. Bunch of antennas, man. And they all them antennas, they all connected. You know, that's like having a whole a host. Electricity is just gonna just. Well, I don't know how. I can't explain how it works. Yeah. Man. But those antennas are everywhere, man. Most high is coming after these people. It's coming after. Man, it, I mean, oh, there's conspiracy yeah. theories behind that one. Uh, boy, I don't yeah. know if I'm gonna go down that route. Yeah. Nah, but they said there's a reason why they explain all that aluminum in the air. Yeah. Cause they want you to breathe in aluminum. It helps to. Uh, yeah. It helps uh, broadcast that frequency. Because yeah. 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 that aluminum is a conductor of electricity. Yeah. These people won't get it. Like you said, we're gonna laugh, right? We're gonna laugh. Told you. Told you, nigga. Told you, nigga. Yeah, that's gonna Why be the. you sitting there eating your baby girl. I told you. That's the ultimate told you nigga, so. I told you, nigga. That's the, <laughs> that's the biggest I told you so in history. <laughs> right, right. That's gonna be that's the. That's hyena. <laughs> yeah, that's nasty. Right. Ugly hell, too. Right. Told you, nigga. You, you gotta die for eating that, that meat, man. That, that baby, nigga. Don't cry now! <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't cry now! <laughs>
Uh, you oh, can't yeah. repent now. You're still chewing on the baby. That's fine. The I'm sorry, Laura. <laughs> the hardest motherfuckers always turn out. Right? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Oh, Lord. Oh, most I gonna get this man. Just like all the hardest people, the <laughs> proudest people, they turn into a bitch right before they death. Mm -hmm. they, I don't want to die. I'll start crying. I see that, man. I actually see motherfuckers on the trauma floor come in with bullet holes that they obviously gonna live through. They, they, they just they, they, they crying. Gonna die, man. Crying. Yeah, I'm gonna man. die. Man. Yeah. Man. I'm the most honest. I'm the come guy with a flesh wound. A flesh wound. Yeah. I think they're gonna die, man. I see that. I actually yeah. see that, man. Crying and shit. Now, asking me, am I gonna die? Am I gonna die? And mom and they're crying like, hey, too with him. I don't know. Y'all gotta, gotta fix my baby. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right. Then they wanna yeah. get right with the most high. <laughs> That's what 50 Cent said though in the song. He said, he said, uh, well, for get hit, uh, now they, uh, they start bleeding. Now they, re uh, religion. They, uh, get religion and want to pray on, uh, found, to the most high. Found Jesus. <laughs> found I didn't see the white light. <laughs> the white light. So, man. They seen the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> hey, let me get, you got what? I got, I got some okay, yeah. fuck, 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 fuck. Jeremiah 14 and 14. The Lord said it to me. They prophesied. Prophecy lies in my build. name. I said oh, yeah. them not. Neither have I commanded them. Neither mm -hmm. spoken to them. Neither prophesied unto you a false vision and division in a thing not in a deceit of their heart. Yeah, so all these people talking about some shit out of their own mouth their own heart they're not speaking the truth they're not man because everybody they love to talk shit about us but where's their truth at i'm like if we if we wrong then what's the what's right they'll be like love another thing they always say the bible contradicts itself but nobody has not once broke it down so example not one time just one i'm looking for one uh, they don't, they just be like, oh, well, it was written on by man. <laughs> That's what they tell you. Then they be like, oh, well, uh, it been changed. Well, That's just wrong. your interpretation. <laughs> yeah. Everything been written by man. Everything been right. changed. That's why I keep saying, oh, like, okay, That's your interpretation. Where did you get your information? If, if the, okay, the Bible is written by man. Your history book is written by man. You still believe it. <laughs> so then everything is written by man, uh, goofy. Like, what, you got a book that just fell from the heaven? Just, it just came out of nowhere. It's like, oof. God. God, yeah, yeah. this is it. <laughs> What's up? How you doing? It's like the downside of teaching her downtown. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you see everybody you know. You're like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I know, man. Then what made me mad, you see a motherfucker tall, you want to hand around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, I could have waited. <laughs> That's funny. You, you, we've seen everybody out here. They're like, ah, oh, shit, y'all got me. Because <laughs> you be trying to be the undercover agent. You know what I mean? <laughs> Superman. Yeah. Because, <laughs> hey, because, hey, that's the thing, though. You get caught teaching. Get caught teaching the Bible. That's such a bad thing. Yeah, you know, that's like a, that's like a filthy thing. They bad talk you yeah, else. yeah. You get fired from your job and all kind of shit. I seen this motherfucker out there reading the Bible. Had a sheet on his face and God, <laughs> like, oh, like, Let me read just real quick. This is Second Peter's one and twenty. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the Scripture is of any private interpretation. Yeah. So. Well, we we got the proper interpretation. There's only one interpretation. And we teaching it right. And we can prove it with scriptures. Uh, he got a scripture right here. Look. Uh, he got all kinds well, of scriptures. The prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. The holy men of the Most High spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Right. So the Bible was written by men, obviously. I mean, people are so stupid. They, th they be think they on to something. The Bible was written. It's called the book of Matthew. Right. The book of Luke. Actually, the book of John. It's like, it's called Matthew because it was written by Matthew. <laughs> See, they expect God the Most High to come down and show them he really. That's yeah. what they want, you know? Like, look at the Ten Commandments. 
I was written by uh, the most high though. Yeah. Yep. It was written by his own hand. They still didn't believe it. Uh, yeah, they still ain't believe it. They still ain't take heed to it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, it, 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 so, just like the scripture said, John came uh, uh, John came not eating. They called him the devil. And right. y'all was just the same thing. The most high gave you the ten oh, They didn't believe it. The prophets wrote this. They still don't believe it. So, it don't matter what you it do to matter. the people. The Lord, right, the Lord took them through the Exodus. Right. Hey, they split the fuck, they split the sea. You, you seen this, this sea get divided and you walked on dry land and they still man, got a golden calf. Yeah, imagine that, man. And then, and, and then right after that, they seen the chariot, they seen all the, the Pharaoh die, the Egyptians, then they go build a golden calf. Oh, fucking calf. That That's fast. bugged out. I mean, the Israelites got to be the dumbest people they ever created. I mean, after you see that, though, how, well, I, let's get the hell out. I don't understand. After you see that, what, what, what? How could your mind even grasp about even going against the Most High? Like, like you know what he do to you? Like, I'm pretty sure he just know my thoughts right now. He probably about to kill me even for Ooh. thinking about going back to Egypt. Most High just, <laughs> Most High controls what you. you. Think the earth opened up and swallowed them with the Yeah. yeah. Scripture do say my people are stiff naked though, so you know who they are. My people is foolish, they have not. Hey, he got this scripture though. Stupid. Yeah. It says Second Ezra 15, 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I'll put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Are right, this is faithful and true, what are we speaking? Is that all you had? Well, it does a little more. It says, Fear not their imaginations <clears throat> against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee and speak that it's like that speak against thee. The non-belief. Yeah. But all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. All these unfaithful fools, they're gonna die in their unfaithfulness. So they can talk all this shit. Hey, let me get one more scripture before we go. So I wanna get something. Before I'm gonna forget it and I'll never bring it out. Uh Joshua 24. I it was just I ain't the spirit was hit me with this earlier. It's a good one. Cause he was just talking about the Exodus and all that. Fresh in my mind. After this, we're gonna close up. I don't want to forget it. Joshua, what? Twenty-four and one. It's a, it's some good scriptures right here. Joshua, Joshua, twenty-four and one. Joshua, gather, gather all the tribes of Israel to Shechem. Say it right. Sh sh close enough. Shechem and call for the elders of Israel for their heads for their judges and for their officers and they presented themselves before God and Joshua said unto all the people thus says the Lord of God of Israel your fathers dwelt on the other side of the flood in the old time they mean on the other side of most Mesopotamian river to going way back to Abraham and all that go ahead even Terah the father of Abraham and the father of Nacor Nacor and they served other gods yeah, Abraham's father, yeah, he served other gods. He was worshiping the Babylonian gods. He was worshiping the fucking Anunnaki. You know what I mean? Go ahead. And I took you, and I took your father Abraham from the other side of the flood and led him throughout the land of Canaan. And the mul and multiplied his seed and gave him Isaac. Yep, Isaac, that's for the chosen line. Keep going. And I gave it to Isaac, Jacob, and Esau. And I gave it to Esau, Mount Seir. To possess it. Yeah, but, so, so I was Esau's blessing was ragged ass Mount Seir. Go ahead. But Jacob. Desolate Mount <laughs> It was already desolate before they got there. Because the Most High knew if he sent them to a, a plush paradise of wilderness, he'd chop all the trees down anyway. Yeah, it's going to be like, Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> so he, he knew what was in Esau's heart, so he gave him a barren wasteland. He's like, This is what you're going to do to it in the end anyway. Right. Here. <laughs> Yeah, gave him a new phone, we gave him a crack phone there. No battery. <laughs> no minutes. Right, he only use it when it's hooked up to the charger. Yeah. Hold the charger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Joshua 24 4. And I gave it to Isaac, Jacob, and Esau, and gave it to Esau, and Mount Seir, to possess it. But Jacob and his children went down into Egypt. I said, Moses, also an heir, and I plagued Egypt. According to that which I did among them. Yeah, so Egypt got plagued. It's like America's about to get plagued. Go ahead. And afterward, I brought you out. And I brought your fathers out of Egypt. And you came into the sea. And the Egyptians pursued after your fathers with chariots and horsemen under the Red Sea. 
Keep going. And when they cried unto the Lord, he put darkness between you and Egyptians. I said, that's why we doing. We cried to the Lord right now. He going to put darkness between us and uh, the Americans, between Esau. Go ahead. And brought the sea upon them and covered them, and your eyes have seen what I have done in Egypt. See, that's why I, was, that's why I wanted to bring that, because we were just talking about... Because the Israel's eyes seen what the Lord did in Egypt. Yeah. And they were still wicked. That's crazy. Keep going. And ye dwelt in the wilderness a long season. And I brought you into the land of the Amor Amorites. The Amorites. Yeah. Amorites. Which dwelt on the other side of Jordan. And they fought with you. And I gave them into the, your hand that you might possess their land. And I destroyed them before you. Yep, so we possessed all the lands of the heathens. Go ahead. And it is a good scripture here. We'll keep going. Then Balak, the son of Zypher, king of Moab, arose and warned against Israel and sent and called Balaam, the son of Bor, to, call, to curse you. Yeah, that's that false prophet. Go ahead. But I would not hearken it to Balaam. Therefore, he blessed you still, so I delivered you out of his hand. Yeah, the, 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 the prophets of the other nations are so are so whack. I don't know how else to say it. Then the Most High, they tried to put a curse on us, and instead the Most High made him put a blessing on us. You know what I mean? Because they, the heathens sent out their prophets, and the prophets ended up blessing us. And that's beautiful, right? Go ahead. And ye, and ye went over Jordan uh -oh. and came into Jericho, and the men of Jericho fought against you. The Amorites and the... My fault. It's getting to the... It's another good one. No, good. I already got the point, but and yeah. The, the Pezzarites and the Canaanites and the Hananites and the... the <laughs> That's all the heights. Oh, my God. He just skip it. If you can't say, just skip it. He bites and the Jezebites, and I delivered them into your hand. I sent the hornet before you, which drove them out before you. Even the two kings of the, em of the Amorites, but not with thy sword, nor with the bow. And I have given you the land for which you did not labor in cities, which you built, that you, let me, hold on, let me start off. Uh -huh. Jesus ain't real. Oh, is what well, is the scripture though? There's a scripture that says they went and possessed the land, but they didn't have to build any of the houses <laughs> themselves. Oh, is that what it said? Yeah. See, I was just thinking too, you're watching archaeology shows, and they'll say they checked the archaeology and it said everything was built by Canaanites or whatever. The description said the same thing. Because the Israel went in there, the cities were already built. We just took their took their cities. Joshua 24 and 8, and I brought you into the land of the Amorites, which dwelt on the other side of Jordan, and they fought with you. And I gave them into your hand that you might possess their land, and I destroyed them before you. Yep. So, yeah, we're going to possess their land. We did, I did Keep going. I, let me see it real quick. Where are you at? Oh, well, that's the point. Yeah, actually, we'd have to. We we should do a whole. Uh, uh, we need we do a whole lesson on that. Yeah. African American niggas. Lives matter, nigga. You hear what that fool said? What what is they saying? I know. I was trying to. Everything was a white man. Everything was a white man. That's why the white man going into slavery. Well, I mean, but people. Two thirds of Israel. They don't even know what the. They don't even. They don't even know what the white man is. <laughs> they don't even know what Esau is. And then a lot of times they find out who Esau is, they, they Esau still don't is? know who he is. That's you, buddy. That's you. Yeah, you, devil. <laughs> hey, hey, Esau had children. You one of them. <laughs> he was great, 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 great. He's like, look, Jacob's brother. <laughs> when they multiplied, he sort of swore. He went to Sunday school as a kid. <laughs> The future is very bright. <laughs> it will be bright until the sun gets darkened. First, when that fire hits, it'll be a big bright explosion. And it's going to be dark. I can't wait for that first flag attack. That's going to be great, man. That's going to be bad. Whatever it's going to be. There's your girl. 
Oh, it's that's yeah. the attack. We just want the water. Hopefully it's going to be multiple. Yeah, yeah. two water. What do you want? For real? For real? Oh. Look at it. Uh oh. Do you want? Bring it to him. Uh -oh. That's your player. Good. That's a good player. Now you're trying it. No, I'm just playing with you. I don't want. I got water. I got water. I got water. Thanks anyway. Aaron might want the water. Nah, I'm good. That was nice over. Hey, you're in there. You got a foot in there. There's a scripture that said, "Actually, you gave your whole shot water. You can't even know it." Oh yeah. When I was thirsty, you asked me for it. Yeah, right. She just gave you a whole shot of water. Straight for you. So the Lord, hey. I get a blessing. That's how the Lord judges, man. He judges by your acts. By she your had fruits. Has a beautiful spirit, not just being beautiful. Yeah, 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 right. But she always she said God blessed to us several times. Yep, yeah. yep. And she heard it. She listened to the message before. And still didn't just fall from come against it. You know, gangs, you know how they do it. Right, well, they want to so get in groups. She, oh, she want to be my no, I mean, know. don't ask too, too well, much from always them. Gave me she gave you a word. Yeah, what do you expect from a woman? <laughs> I always get shit what I ask for. I always got it, man. Because you it make seven come, foot three. It may, come, <laughs> it may not come perfect, but he always give me what I want for. Always thank you for it. Man. Yeah, what I say? I ain't taking no value in this shit, man. Yeah, so anything you ask in my name, I'll re you receive. See, the thing is, I, I used to ask for it before the truth. I ain't never asked for nothing in this world in the truth. Never, man. Never. We ask for death and destruction. And, you and know wisdom I mean? and knowledge. Right. That's it. That's Be all, man. But I ain't never asked for nothing before the truth, man. I mean, I always ask for worldly shit before the truth. What's well, that one thing? We praying for some help. He praying brothers wake up and help us and do the work. That's what we praying for. I already know he gonna give me well. I, I say, I say, I pray to, uh, yeah. When it comes to like the concubines and all that. Look, I was like, I was like, bring it to me. She was bringing it at first, and she thought about it. You know? But that's just part of the curse. They, they got her rebel a little. You know? Yeah, they do got rebel. Like, if I do this, they got me. They say came into it. It's like you tell them to do something, they don't want to listen. Yeah, they like. Right? If you, if you, if, if he was by, if you was by yourself, she would. But since it's a crowd, yeah, right, right, right. yeah. camera plan. <laughs> Nah, Y'all nah. right, about to wrap up? Y'all yeah. got any final words? That's a Babylon. Got to stay strong. It's all about Israel, man. We give all praises to Yahweh Ba, Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders. One more thing. Yeah, double honors to the apostles and the great millstone. Go ahead. In your patience, possess ye your souls. Remember that. <laughs> the young philosopher right there. You know what I mean? Dang, we all philosophers, though. Lover yeah, love is a knowledge. Yeah, we go hard in everybody. That ain't that ain't uh that's the so called. Example. All right, then we out of here. Uh oh, we gonna get it. Let's go. They confused. Uh oh. <laughs>